Premonition. Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's the underside of Sector Six, Wall Market. Wall Market. A real special place. Real special but place. I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Secret tunnel. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. What's uh, that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? The claw. Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. idea I'll hop on and you give me a ride you serious absolutely I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready!
Hold on a second. Gotcha. Okay, right there. Hold on while I drop the ladder. Cloud, over here. Well, jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> oh, weirdos. <Yeah. laughs> that one's got like green eyes and. Dark. How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh. It's like compensation. For damages! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you no when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense. That's all. Due <laughs> <laughs> recompense! Do recompense! Do recompense! Due recompense! <laughs> no shit, more brains! Do recompense! It's like uh it's like uh, Compensatory <laughs> <laughs> damages. I think we've heard enough. Am I able to? Does this count as assessing a different species? For uh, yeah. Jazz. <laughs> Allow me. Yes. Yeah, it did count. <laughs> it counts as a monster. <laughs> Time to burn. You're fine. Okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Don't leave me, I'm coming! <laughs> random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Oh, another crane. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? Same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? We made it! Smell the fresh air? Cloud, up top! <laughs> Try it. <laughs> oh, 
Here we go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at high fives. I always miss. I'm really bad at them too. Alright, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? You probably know him. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. So slide. Let's see. Let me on it. Ooh. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> no, why'd you leave the party? No. We have to go together. Yeah, Don't no. leave, Eris. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. Huh? Ooh, uh, chocoboo. Yeah. Lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven. Meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick. I have. 
You don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. We gotta hurry! Hey there! Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? Earlier, like just no. a second ago. <laughs> and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little? <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Mm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Yes. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Hmm. Do this. I don't know. She's great at handling the books. Cloud, I really don't think. <laughs> Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Ooh, wall market. Nice. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. You two. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet-looking couple like you. No thanks. But you thought about it, didn't you? <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. Ah, oh, dang it, Chad! Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Wow. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I have done it again. Spent my whole thing girl. Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. No! Idiot. Wait. Oh, kid. I know you're not telling me to move. <laughs> I'll let it slide tonight. Now beat it.
Relaxation. Oh, who the hell is that? Oh, I get him. <laughs> ah, dang it. Okay, it's hopeless now. <laughs> Check it out. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to go. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. Andrea Rodea. an eccentric Rodea. bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Mm. Who are Tifa's you? Tifa's been Don't invited John. to the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. <laughs> Damn, man. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Is this the place? I just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. Curse Let me handle this. Will. You wait out here, like, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honeybee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? <laughs> uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honeybee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. <laughs> Not you two again. <laughs> Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. 
next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. I already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Oh no, do I have to make the choice? I hope not. Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. Oh gosh. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Too many decisions. <laughs> Oh gosh, how do I decide? This is like... Who knows what'll happen. Yeah. It's scary, I'm playing it for the first game for the first time. When you're playing it, the, you know, the original Fantasy, Final Fantasy, you play it again. And you know which ones to pick. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go heads. heads. Tails, you lose. Oh. Uh, it's never Tails. That's unreal. <laughs> hey, <laughs> You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite coordinated. Can I do it again? But if only the Don will do. Try convincing one of the other two. What if I can't convince That's any of them? That's trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Uh oh. Because he knew. No one picks tails. So he knew to flip that coin. <laughs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. So what would happen That's if cheating. I pick tails? That's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Hey. Wait, what? No. Huh? Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. And you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don for love of it. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you're gonna let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! <laughs> is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... What a nice lady. <laughs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. 
<laughs> a generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only yeah. here to help. <laughs> Good. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> Then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure. Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> if that was to your liking, do come again. Chose the most expensive massage. <laughs> Eris is like, oh no. How was it? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? <laughs> oh gosh. Looks comfortable. I like I like looks comfortable. It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. I just spent all my money on the massage. What I say. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes. For the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here! Uh. 
in the city that never sleeps. In the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. For all you have seen connoisseur of the past and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! <sighs> Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents! A million gil? Cool. <laughs> I don't get it. Stupid madam. A million gil for a dress? Jesus. Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Cornell Tom! This place is really something. You two, wait here until it's time. Hello. Oh, <laughs> funny. Look at you again. Ouch! What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries, and well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. And what's this here? It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Oh, geez. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust this Johnny. He's trying to sabotage. He's trying to sabotage it for me. You two ready? I'm ready. Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talk about a bad day. Well, this is their first tournament. The bad first day. And most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! This is the first round. Sousing is way too easy to win a million kill. But what a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eric. Well, that's one win down. Go team. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Ready. Just remember, 
Try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, dressed in their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like our lucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. Couple of my ears. The hell you do try to pull? The hell you do try to pull? What have we done to you guys? Yeah, Jesus. yeah. Their opponents, reavers of this camp, thieves and killers through and through. Too criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible son of bitches is not a war market. That's Benefit! Those guys. Oh. We already beat them. <laughs> it should be easy. Got this, Eris. It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are once again. Cloud and Kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall for grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. What is it? And Aerith, the final match will begin shortly. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Yep. Ready. I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. I do wonder what would have happened if I took that potion. Something bad, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we do. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! 
We got this team. Come on now. Come on. You can do better than that. And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with countless kills to their name. Along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners. Chocobo Sam's champions. Cuddy and Sweepy. Cuddy and Sweepy. Come on. <laughs> That's cute. Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. <laughs> that was fun. Buzz off. Buzz off. <laughs> Cut her defeated. Oh, that was easy. Good thing I didn't take that potion. <laughs> Johnny was trying to sabotage me, I know it. Cloud and Aerith. The best team ever. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. <sighs> now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but... You still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets. Much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice. And only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? You greedy bastard, scum sucking piece of shit, festering <laughs> asshole! <laughs> <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far! Cloud and Aaron! Who are we gonna be fighting? Now, now you're a fan of me. <laughs> Y'all were like unnecessarily hating me. At the beginning. Their opponent, buried in the bowels of the Coliseum, 
an unspeakable horror, long in prison, that free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Huh? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A house, it's a house! <laughs> I remember that. It, I think it like, yeah. <laughs> but it was definitely wasn't a boss. <laughs> You're gonna fight a house, that's so funny. It's just a house. It's an evil house. <laughs> house from hell. Couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No, sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cups fight final battle! <laughs> begins <laughs> now! All the battle is <laughs> And already I can tell you <laughs> this bonus match is did Eris just go in the house? Eris, come on! <laughs> Eris, are you still in there? <laughs> He's fighting it from within. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Oh, she got out of it. It's almost disappointing. No. Not yet. We're gonna bring the house down. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Yeah, <laughs> just what is happening? What's happening? What the? Look out! I'm ready. Oh, I just got in the house. Oh no! Oh no! Get me out of here! What a brutal hit by the hell house! Get him! rare are you showing an interest in someone? What will you do?
Why didn't you tell me you guys were gonna kick so much ass? Can I get your autographs? No. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? Mm. I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Like I Woo! Everyone's so in this one. Okay. Congratulations on winning the tournament! You're an impressive fighter! I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Oh, well, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great <laughs> friends. The best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Mud. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they said, good things come to those who work. What goes around, comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. Alright, now that that's out of the way... Once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. <laughs> you look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> Then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to oh good no, use? Oh no, might have to do more jobs. I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Aerith is perfect just the way she is. Well, All these people are being so later, mean to her. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Hello. Cloud, been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Wanna try taking on one of our guys? Huh, you're not serious, are you? Look at him, he's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now, I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Okay. So, can we'll bring you up around? Challenge Ronnie, yes. Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. That's rude. I got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. <laughs> no. That's the traditional <laughs> tried and true way. <laughs> squat off. Square. Now don't go crying to mom. Two, one. <laughs> Triangle. Circle. X. Square. You got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> oh, cloud. What the heck? It's just a few squats. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. Come on, dude. Oh, Ty? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, hurry up, hurry up. Get up, Cloud. Get the hell up. Cloud, Cloud. 
Oh shit, what? How could I have done any better? I'm so confused. I did... Is there... Must be something I'm missing about doing better in this. You lost this one, but I know you'll get them next time. <laughs> Didn't I say I destroy you, little man? One by one. If you want a rematch, you better put some muscle on those chicken legs first. Thought I saw something in you. Well, if you ever feel like swinging by again, I'm sure someone here will be up for another round or two of squatting. Hey, up for another squat off already? Yeah. You bet. No way I'm letting you win! <laughs> That's how it's done! Yeah. I knew you could do it! Not bad at all! You've got this, come on! <laughs> try to get into a rhythm! <laughs> That's how it's done! Yeah. Come on, one more <laughs> What? That was not too soon, come on. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. You've got this, come on. That's how it's done. Not bad at all. Your form's looking good. You've got this. Come on. Ha. <laughs> do 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 do. Yay. Ah, how? How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. <laughs> that and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. <laughs> Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Preach it. Hell yeah, bro. Preach it. <laughs> you wanna go, do ya? Alright then, bring it on! You can back out if you're scared. I'm not scared, you're scared. <laughs> Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. Yeah, feel the burn. That's how it's done. Your form's looking good. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. You've got this. Come on. Come on. I know you've got more to get. That's how it's done. Your form's looking good. Not bad at all. Oh shit! Oh. Gotta be in incredible shape. I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair that you guys are having all the fun. What do you say? May I have the squat? May I have the squat? <laughs> okay. 
Let's go. <laughs> you up for some exercise? Okay. That's gonna be way too hard. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be impossible. Okay, go, he fell, he fell. There's still hope. <laughs> so much training do you do? Whoa. I can't get enough of those beautiful muscles! Woo! Cloud! Oh, okay, good. You're better than I thought. Who'd have thought it'd be this close? You can do it, Jules! We're rooting for you! Oh, it's me and <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm the squat master. Was never in doubt. I had no idea how strong you really were. You truly are something, aren't you? Listen up, everyone! We Yay, can be stronger, be better. Let's hit those weights. You got it, Jules. <laughs> Jules is cool. Yeah, I like I'll Jules. Never... I know it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, the angel. Oh, so you're the new merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations found for the Leaf House. The fiends. The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. <laughs> oh. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. <laughs> oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is she knows. not the work of the angel. She knows it's not because she I is the angel. My own <laughs> shady looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. The Garden Angel strikes again! The Garden Angel? And all it took was one fake Oh, is that Beck and his gang? Beck and Burke. Hey, it's you! What the hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! But my dad! My dad! <laughs> Shut up! It's too late for that! Hey, bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house! We picked him up at the Coliseum! Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us! What's a truffle? Hey, what are we doing? Hey, shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! Hey. <laughs> You're coming with me. These are the angels of the slums? 
<laughs> oh man, you're real stupid. We're the, We're garden, the angels. garden angels. Get it right. Shut your trap, moron. Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the masks. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lummox. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better even. It's the angel of the slums. She took the ton stuff. He's gonna be pissed. Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madame M's. Why, hey there, champ! Hello. Got word from Madame M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go no. another round. Champ. And something tells me they're not going to rest until they no. see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. Oh, man. Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite at the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy! Alright, let's go. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin! Buzz off. Yes, yes. Our champ champ is gorgeous once more! Cloud wins! Cuddy's quest for sweet revenge has ended in bitter defeat! <laughs> Poor Cuddy. Very nicely done! <laughs> Here's your cut. Wait, you're here? What about Aerith? My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. By the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman? Or two? Or three? I wonder. Jesse Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, which one will you choose? Should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on it. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. No! <laughs> Cloud! Finally! Uh, uh, Tifa! She... Uh, I... Tifa! What is it, Johnny? Uh, I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too. Is hey, Johnny Pop, like bro. Tifa? I can call you bro, right? Johnny likes nope. Tifa. Just want to say, bro, likes Tifa? I'm totally relieved that you're looking oh, out for Tifa. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, 
I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Uh. really <laughs> yeah Corneo's got certain tastes this dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in uh, uh, yeah cloud uh, uh, excuse me <laughs> huh. hey wait a minute did Johnny forget to give you my message the one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Yeah. This Let's is go. your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Andrea thought it might be a good idea. <laughs> Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> 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 That's kind of... That was embarrassing. See you later. 
Definitely not an original. <laughs> yeah. Great eight, good bad two. You've got real rhythm, Mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. I don't need more come practice. On, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Hmm. Darling. I have no idea. <laughs> You just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flashing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the honeybee in every moment. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong bunche.
sounds so weird. What? I did gr great 18 great, and that was really hard. I could barely see the buttons. <laughs> it was nothing like the practice at all. Nothing like the practice. Honey, I'm in love. Yeah, he did great. Yes. yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Oh, <laughs> he's beautiful. <laughs> Corny will definitely pick him. <laughs> <laughs> Today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I could dance too. How much did you drink Let's tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. You can talk. Oh, wow. Was it planned now from the start? Was a not. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> you won't talk to me. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Cloud. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Not a word. Not even one? Such no! The spice of life. But you're so you pretty! Sweet old man. That is one hot chick. Warrioring man. <laughs> Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second yeah. floor, at the very end of Corny the wall. Lackey. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. There's no room for a pretty princess in the cloud. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh, 
Come on. Guess. Why are they guessing us? Cloud. Figure that long to figure oh, out. <laughs> With that voice. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? I thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who's wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies. Time to line up for the dog. Kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies. Uh.
Oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's ride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you said that? Was it you? <laughs> His manly voice. <laughs> Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> huh? Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <laughs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, baby. Ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, ain't you two <laughs> the rejects? <laughs> This one's for you! Moving on then. <laughs> Don't stop, tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes I am! <laughs> Here I come, baby! <laughs> 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 hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? 
don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do. No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, Villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Mm. Hmm. Lost their minds. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies in the sewers. <laughs> 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 yeah. Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> no matter what you pick, he'll put you in the sewer. <laughs>